We'll guide you through how to download and install all the mods 9 to the sky in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all let's go and quit Minecraft and there's an app we can actually get which allows us to go and run mod packs super simply. So go and open up a web browser but just before we get any further a big shout out to the sponsor of this video Apex Hosting. They're my go to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome benefits like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 7 servers and support. So just to show you the panel, literally you can play all the mods 9 to the sky with your friends super easily. You can scroll down and just go and change the game file to that. As you can see here it is and I can quickly go and install it and I can then play it with my friends. So if you're interested there'll be a link down below and at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. So to continue with the guide, the app we're going to be using is called Curse Forge. So go and type it in and come to curseforge.com. Then all you need to do is go to the top right and click on Get CurseForge App. Then all you need to do is go down here and go and click on Download Standalone, like so. It'll go and take a moment. Then all you want to do is go and open up your file explorer, come into your downloads, and then what you can do is go and run it. So it'll go and take a moment and you'll get this pop-up. We can go and press Next. You can see the installation folder. You need to accept the terms of use and privacy policy and confirm you're at least 18 years old, which I am and I've read them before. And I accept and install. I accept that and now let's go and start installing it. So it's now gonna do a download. So all you need to do is go and wait and it should automatically install as well. So all you need to do is just wait. Curse Forge is now opening up and it says forging your library. It's important to note for this to work. You need to own Minecraft and have it installed on your computer, which you probably already have. If you don't, you'll need to go and do that before you can go and install all the mods 9 to the sky. And what you need to do is come over to the left and select Minecraft. If you aren't seeing it, click on the add a game button and you can scan your computer for games or manually go and add it. Now, when you click here, your mod packs will probably be empty. I've got some here as I've used it before. Now, what you need to do is go to the top here and go and click on browse. It'll go and take a moment to load and click on search. And then what you can do is go and type in ATM9 Sky, just like so, and go and search for it. And here it is, all the mods 9 to the sky. Go and click on it. And then what you can do is read through the overview. And what you can do is go and click on install in the, the top right of the section. Now it's going to start downloading. It's going to download all the mods that so may take a bit of time depending upon your internet connection. But all you need to do is go and wait. As you can see, it's got 285 mods to install, so you will need to go and wait. And just like that, it's now gone and finished. And so what you can do is go to the right here and click on play. And also all the mods 9 to the sky will now be appearing in the My Mod Pack section, as you can see down here. So let's click on play and it should now go and launch. The Minecraft launcher will open up and you should see all the mods 9 to the sky to the left here. You can click on play. You just need to understand the risks because you're playing a modded version of Minecraft. And now here we are. So now what we can do is go and start playing. So what I'm going to do is just go and create a world and give you a quick rundown of it. And so here we are, we've just gone and loaded in and it says here, if this is the spawn island, do slash skyblock GUI to choose an island. So let's go and type that in now, like so. And then what we can do is go and create a new team. We can go and give it a name, I'll just name this test, and then we can click create. Now we'll go and wait. And as you can see, we've been taken here. And so you can now go and start playing. It's super fun and it's completely different to normal Minecraft and it presents a load of different challenges. And playing with your friends can make it even better. So if you want to go and do that, then make sure you go and check out Apex Hosting. A big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. There'll be a link down below so you can go and get started. And if you want to go and see more Minecraft guides, then make sure you check out the channel. We already have a ton on there and we also have a ton to come. So make sure you subscribe to go and be kept up to date with the videos that are released. And also please leave a like as well if you found this useful. And there's a ton of other tech guides on the channel which you may go and find useful as well.